guys, it's Carissa, and today we are celebrating World Meteorological Day, and we are going to be making some really cute, like, um, I want to say plant decorations, but we're going to make a cloud with some uh, cute rainbow raindrops. So, uh, a couple things you're going to need. We're going to be using polymer clay. Um, you can pick up a big thing of the white oven-baked clay from your dollar store or from Walmart. Um, now these ones here, I just had a little bit of pink and some yellow and some green and blue, but even if you had just a little bit of red, um, blue and yellow lying around your house, you can make any of the colors. Um, so I'm doing nice pastels. So we're going to jump into it. Um, you've got the clay. I also have um, this metal piece here I cut off from a really giant safety pin. Um, what you want is something metal, um, a heavier gauge wire, maybe you have um, an old, like, the wire from the political signs. It has to be metal because you're going to be able to put it in your oven. It needs to not have a coating on it, um, and it's going to have to be thick enough that, like, you can stake it into, like, a potted plant. Um, we're also going to want a little bit of a turn on that so that when we do put it into our clay object, it doesn't just pull right out um, when, we done, when we're finished baking with it. So I've got my clay here and I've been playing with it so it's nice and soft. Um, we want it to be able to move well. So we're just going to roll this up into a ball. We're going to squash it. And we're just going to flatten it out. Um, we don't want this super thin um, because we are going to be putting the metal piece in it. Um, what's it about? So it's about that thin. It's not very thin. I'm a little thicker in the middle. Um, and then what I do is I'm going to cut the bottom of this off. So I've got the bottom cut off. And then I'm going to use the top as the top of my top part of my cloud. And I'm just kind of going to go in and then go out. And on the other side. Got a nice little cloud shape. Um, now you can make this however you want. I'm going to make a second one because I'm going to do two of these so that you get a good idea. Um, I highly recommend getting, um, you can use an X-Acto knife or just a pair of scissors to cut it out, any of that. I also highly recommend grabbing um, a pen that is flat and just rolling along the edges and smoothing in some of the clay from where you cut. We will sand this after we bake it. Um, just to give it a more finished look. But this helps. And yet, like I said, you don't have to have a fancy clay tool. You can just use a flat sided pen just to roll some of those edges in. So I'm going to go ahead and make another one so you can watch again. For this one, I'm going to have to work the clay a little bit. This one's hard. Um, so we're going to let that sit while I make this other one, and then we'll make our raindrops, and we're going to make some holes because we're going to use um, fishing line after it's baked to attach our raindrops. It's an important note. Fishing line does not go in your oven. Please. <laughs> don't, don't do it and say, Krista told me to. Krista did not tell you to put fishing line in your oven. Krista said, don't do that. Squish. Now, if you have a nice marble rolling pin that would work great for flattening this out. I just have a wooden one that I didn't want to get covered in clay. So again, I'm just cutting a straight line across my bottom to give it a nice 
nice bottom edge there. And you know, the great thing about clay is you can do this however many times, you know, you you cut out your first cloud shape and you're like, ah, oh, you know what? I hate that cloud shape. You can redo it. Here's my second cloud shape. So here's my first one, here's my second one. And we're just gonna roll it again just to get some of those divots out, smooth the edges down. Again, we're going to go ahead and sand it off later, just because that helps get any of those unfinished edges off. Now we've got our nice little clouds. We're going to take our sticks and we are just going to poke them in. And I said just doing so carefully. And then we're just going to close the clay up around it. Just as much as we possibly can. So that sticks. Now this is where you can tell if you have made your clay too thin it needs to be covered. So if you can see your stick poking through, you need to redo your cloud and make it thicker. I should have bent this one more. I will bend that one later. That needs bent more. See how long it is? It needs bent slightly more down just to give it a little more hold. I will do that in a minute. Okay, so we have our clay cloud. I am then going to take a pointy object. This could be a toothpick. This could be any pointy object you can find. Maybe even a nice pick. I don't know. I have this. And I am going to make let's see some holes in my cloud. Now I am going to make them decently widthed apart. And then I am going to make them decently high up because you do not want your, oops, helps if you don't stab the cloud when making your hole. You do not want it to rip out from the top or from the sides. And remember, we are using fishing line later. So I've just got some holes to stick my fishing line through. They don't have to be too wide, but you are going to have to get your fishing line through the hole. All right, flatten it. Make sure it's nice. Now we're making raindrops. Great news is raindrops can be again in a variety of shapes of your choosing. Now I've gone ahead and made five holes so that I can hang five raindrops. You can hang three raindrops. I probably will only hang three for my littler cloud just because it's not it's not as big and it can't support as many. All right. Now we're going to want to make it of similar thickness. Um, you can make them smaller we don't want them to be too thin because again we're going to right, I'm gonna start with a triangle do, do, do. triangle and then we're gonna round it out you can kind of shape this one with your fingers 
to get that raindrop look that you want. So triangle and then round it out at the bottom and then just shape in with your fingers. Do the rest. You can take this at your own pace. Do with it what you will. Maybe some of them you're going to make smaller, maybe some of them you're going to make bigger. Again, triangle shape. Take those off. And I'm rounding out the bottom. Just gonna shape it with my fingers. Mold it into a little better raindrop. So fun. I mean, this really brings me back to the days when you know you got to play with Play Doh as a kid. You made all those great, cool things, and we're so proud of them. I like playing with this because that makes me feel like a kid again. But also end up with a finished product that I can really have a lot of fun with later and I think it'll look cute. Again, when you're making the raindrops, you want them to still be thick because we are going to have to put a hole through them, so don't make that tip too thin. A thin tip will break on us. We do not want that. So I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to go ahead and bake it. Now you are going to bake it according to the directions on your oven bake clay package. Um, I think my clay bakes at 275 for like 15 minutes. Um, weed your package. You are then going to take it out of the oven, carefully, because it is hot. And you are going to let it cool completely before you try stringing it with your, with your fishing line. And I will, I will do that once mine, once mine are also baked. That way you can see it. So I will see you all guys after the oven bakes the clay. The oven is done baking. Um, it is now cool to the touch, easy to handle. Um, got my two clouds. Um, I've got a little bit of sandpaper. I think this would tell me what grit it is, but it doesn't. But it's very fine grit. Um, and I am just going to run that over some of my rough edges. Anything you feel is not as smooth as you would like it to be, um, sticks up, maybe you've got a bit of a dent that you would like to get out. Um, and I also have a few other things and I'm going to talk about them. Uh, you don't have to do them, you could do whatever you want. Obviously, this is your project. Um, I did grab fishing line, but I also grabbed some fun blue beads that I had. I grabbed some metallic, um, this is pearl white paint. I thought that would be kind of fun if I painted one of my clouds, and I've got this really cool like light blue glitter. I thought maybe if I coated the edges in one of one cloud, that would be fun. Again, this is your project. Make this as fun as you want. Who says you have to make your cloud white? Who says you have to use glitter? I know there are a lot of people out there who are like, I can't believe you're using glitter. I hate glitter. That's okay. If it's your project, do what you want. Or don't. I can't make you. <laughs> Alright. Um... Let's 
sanded down some of my my rougher edges here. You can see our our stick works real well. And I've got my Line, so I'm of course having a hard time seeing it because fishing line. So I'm just going to start making and figuring out how long I really want this. Now I am going ahead and I am tying my knot like this. So you're just taking it and looping it through. I'm going to do a double knot and I'm going to trim the edges of that. And then that way I can put it through my cloud. And then push my teardrop through so that it hangs and I don't have to worry about doing another knot just like that. So let me get a, now I feel like I've got fishing line everywhere. <laughs> let me get another piece and we'll, I'll try to talk you through it because I know the fishing line is really hard to see on the camera. Okay, so I've got my two ends. If I put it in front of my face, you might be able to see it. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to string my raindrop through. And then I'm going to match my two ends up. And then we're just going to hold, pinch them together and you're going to take it and you're going to run both those through the loop you make. And then I'm going to pull it tight at the top. And then you're going to do that a second time and pull it tight right where you put the first knot. For as best you can. So that... This is what you end up with. You end up with your knot at top and your teardrop down the center. And then that way you can just put your, your knot through your hole. You want, hopefully your holes are big enough to do this. And then we're going to just push our teardrop. So I've, <laughs> I've gone ahead and I've put the string through the cloud. And then I'm going to split the two ends from the knot. I'm going to put the teardrop through it. Just like that. Isn't that cute? Alright, I'm going to do the next couple so that you get the idea. And I will finish these off and I'll post a picture of my finished one. So again, let me take my string. Green, Mr. Green. And I'm running it through and I'm making that loop. Putting both ends through the loop. Pulling it tight. I'm going to do that again. You maybe hear the wind howling. I hope this isn't saying. If you can hear it on the camera, the wind is really howling out there. All right, we'll see if this is long enough. I might need to make this a little longer. I wanted it to be a bit shorter of a... I don't think it's going to be long enough for me to 
stick through. Okay, but I will finish this and then I will show you guys what I did with it and that way you guys have some ideas. Guys, so I have finished decorating my little cloud planters. I'm gonna call them cloud planters. See, I had a problem in the beginning. And look at how cute they came out. And I added a little sparkle to the edge of the cloud on this one. I really like the pearl. Um, I think it makes it look a little shinier. I've got it sitting in the uh, the fishing line <laughs> holder. And then this one here, I put some sparkles on the raindrops. And look at how cute that is. So, just some ideas for you guys. I hope that you have fun making this. I will see you all next time.